Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. One of the highlights of the big INI show was an Aussie invasion. A group of Chamberlain tractor enthusiasts from Australia passed through Penfield on a journey across the USA. Their historic Farm Days stop drew a lot of attention and it all came about thanks in part to the efforts of Illinois' own Darius Harms. I had made some connection with them a year or two back. And they come to visit us and they wanted to stop at a uh, farm show. And it was a great addition for us to have people bring their tractor from that far away, you know, and stop and camp out there with us. And it, it just takes your breath away when you see the people like that put that much effort into coming to our country and to our show. and good people, you know, it was just a pleasure to be around them. Chamberlain tractors were built in Welshpool, Australia from 1949 to 1986. Deere bought a stake in the company in the 1970s and it became known as Chamberlain John Deere until they stopped producing tractors in the 1980s. The visit by the Chamberlain group had extra meaning for Darius because he owns one of the tractors himself. It's kind of a rare tractor because it is a cane lander, which was the uh, row crop version of the Chamberlain 9G. And they're rare in Australia and just about non-existent in the U.S. I'm sure there are more, but there are so very few, I'd say you could buy it count them on one hand that's in the United States and you know now to have a cane lander which is even more rare that makes it special to me. It really impressed me with the way they build it you know it's economically built and uh, just a good tractor just a good tractor. It runs about 35 mile an hour on the road so you got to either have a lot of courage or uh, be real skillful in driving because that's a pretty good speed for a tractor. And it's nice to drive. It's got the accelerator on it. You can hit it with your foot and it, the throttle cracks right quick. It's a snappy engine. The Cane Lander was a short run model made from 1959 to 1968 and it was designed especially for working in row crop sugarcane farming. This tractor's journey from down under to Darius's doorstep came about thanks to a friend that lived in Australia. He kept telling me I needed a Chamberlain tractor. He knew I had a lot of other tractors and he said, I'm going to send you a, cane, a Chamberlain. And then he called and said, I got a real rare one, a cane lander, I'm going to send that to you. So uh, that's how this all began. No doubt Darius has the 1960 Chamberlain running and looking good now, but it must have had a hard working life in Australia because when it arrived in the U.S. it was in pretty sad shape. They just blasted it with chemical and done a terrible amount of damage to it. We had to rebuild everything before it was we got it back running, then we run it a couple of years, make sure it was okay before we repaint it. Now the Chamberlain's bright orange color scheme brings Darius plenty of attention when he takes it to tractor shows. It's a head turner. Yeah, it, it does the head turning at the show. And you better believe Darius spends plenty of time at tractor shows. He's one of the leaders of the INI Club in Penfield, as well as the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul. No doubt this is one fellow with a severe case of classic tractor fever. <laughs> I've had that for a long time. It just gets a little worse once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I do have classic tractor fever, and, and just the tractors don't do that. It's the people involved with the tractors that make that happen. Oh, uh, I've got a bad habit. I like tractors and uh, I've collected them since I was in high school. And it's agriculture that's made America and, and it's so important. I feel it's real important to preserve it to the best of my ability and I'll give it all I got.
you've seen Darius Harms' Chamberlain tractor, and here's another Chamberlain that came all the way from Australia, and this one came with the tractor owner all the way from Australia. Introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. Good day, Brian. I'm Neville Thompson from Young in New South Wales. It's about four hours west of Sydney. It's the cherry capital of Australia. And uh, I didn't know till yesterday that Darius had a Chamberlain. It's the same as this. Uh, it's the high clearance tractor out of North Queensland. They sent most of those to North Queensland. But yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm heading that way soon. But yeah, we'll meet up with an old friend. <laughs> so what's a guy from Australia doing all the way in the middle of uh, the Midwest in Illinois at a tractor show? Well, that, uh, 18 months ago when we started to plan this trip. Uh, and to, to get around to plan the trip, we, um, we'd been all over most of Australia. And we thought, well, we'll travel across America. Just about, about the same size. And yeah, it was 18 months in the planning and Darius got in contact with our coordinator and we're here. That's how it all came about. It's bloody good to be here, I can tell you. Now I know people are thinking, what are these Aussies doing? What would possess them to decide that they want to drive tractors all the way across America? Well, it's novel and it's a great way to see everything. You're sitting up high and you're only travelling 28 miles an hour. And it's just great. It really is. Uh, you, not that you, you can't help but get noticed because of the colour and not too many people do it in tractors I suppose but um, it's going to be about 5,000 miles by the time we finish and uh, it was 5,000 miles across Australia so it's much the same. I know we're, we're up and down a fair bit but we're doing that to accommodate uh, each member who has got a sp specific thing they want to look at and we're going to look at them all. I only get one go at it and we're, we're going to enjoy it. And for those of us who are familiar with John Deere's and Ford's and Farmall's, why would we want to get a Chamberlain? What are some of the features that you think make it a really good tractor? Well, you've just got to look at it to see what a fast looking machine it is from its time. Look at the canvas top. There's not many tractors here. Got a genuine, that's a genuine canvas top. Uh, and I know you've got tractors here that are loof, um, 28, 30 mile an hour, but uh, they're, I don't think they'll be as comfortable as this tractor here is, it's got a spring under the front of it and you can travel anywhere, it rides as good as a four wheel drive. So that's a good reason for any American to buy one. And there's not many here. Darius is another bloke that's only got one and surely there must be someone in America that wants to own one too. <laughs> I gotta know, do you have classic tractor fever? Yes, sure do. Classic tractor fever, that's great. All right Neville, good day and welcome to America. It's very nice and thank you for your welcome. The Australian group driving the Chamberlains all the way from coast to coast.